Mom's waking up. For real this time. Nora, can you hear me? Hey, we need to talk. Not now, David. In case you haven't noticed, I'm just a little preoccupied, saving lives. You might want to put those miracles on hold. You know why? You want to know why? I know your dirty little secret. You sure you don't remember anything about the cop that was shot in the alley behind your store? His name was Thomas McBain. Yeah, look, I know it's been a long time, but we're reopening the case. Yeah, well, thanks for nothing. Everything okay, detective? Yeah, what is it, Ed? Evangeline Williamson checked into a hotel in Chicago, alone. No sign of Manning. Okay, good. Hey, remember, the stead's between us. Why? You don't want internal affairs, knowing that you're looking into the one case they told you to stay away from? Nash, it's Clint, again. Son, I don't know where you went, but if you found Tess, you call me. Why don't he answer? Maybe he can't. Sit down, Clint, have your coffee, and uh, try to stay calm. How can I do that? When I don't know where Tess is, you don't know what happened to her. If Nash doesn't find her, I could very well lose my daughter. It'd be my own damn fault. I'm looking for my girlfriend. She's got blonde hair. She's pregnant not to hear. Have you seen her? No, I'm sorry. Let her go with that shit. Prefer to... Where the hell were you? Here, I've been afraid that I'm not ready to be a parent. Oh, I know. I can do better than this, buddy. She's here somewhere. I know it. Leeds, do you remember me? No. No, I guess you wouldn't. Because to you, I was just another little girl. Oh, no, actually, I was nothing. I was just some plaything you used for your sick games. For me, you're the sick bastard who made me who I am today. You sick freak. I'm just worried about my friend. I'm trying to help find out where she is. Oh, right, right. Evangeline, who just happens to be right in the middle of everything. Gee, Hugh, I wouldn't know. I'm kind of out of the loop here. Yeah. So, uh, she's in Chicago. What's she doing there? I have no idea, but obviously she's not with Manning. Obviously. How, how can you be so sure? Hey, look. We're talking about Evangeline here. Let it go. No. I'm not going to let anything go when there's a convicted murderer on the loose. There's more to this, isn't there? What are you talking about? You're getting crazy, you. You're obsessed, and believe me, I know the signs. So what is it with you and the Manning case? I don't know what this is about. Okay, but watch what you say and who you say it in front of. Or what? What could you possibly do to me that you haven't already, Spencer? It's not like you're gonna kill me. Larry's the only woman that I've ever cared about or ever will, and not even my brother is going to keep me from having her. Cross me again, and you can start making funeral arrangements. But you said something about a big secret. You didn't tell him. No, you no, spent no. The night it's the it's just between you. us. It's it's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you ready for dinner? You know what? I, I think I need to push things back a little bit. Nora showing signs of recovery. <gasps> she yeah, is. She oh, is. Spencer, that's so great. That's so great. 
What's going on? Well, she's coming out of the coma, but she's she's not responding. Mom's trying to wake up. I know she is. Why can't she? You know, people just don't wake up from a coma like they've been sleeping, Matthew. It, it takes a little more time sometimes. It's, uh, it's a little more gradual. You understand? Can't you do something? Well, um, I'll do my best. Mommy, and I know you're still at the movies, but I'm at the hospital, and there's some good news. It looks like Matthew's mommy might be coming out of her coma, so I know Matthew would probably appreciate it if you maybe stopped by and were a good friend to him. So I'm here, and just find me, okay? Bye. Oh, hey, Kelly. I just came from seeing Asa. I was hoping Kevin might be there. You haven't seen him, have you? Yeah, I did, actually. He was in Spencer's office, but I, I, I don't know where he went after that. I'm trying to find him. Some wrong? Is everything okay? Oh, everything is just so messed up. I don't know how things can start off in such a good place and then get screwed up so quickly. Well, when you figure that out, will you let me know? Please fill me in. Something happened with Todd? No. No, not Todd. I've been connected to Todd, mind, body, and soul for 15 years. Until now. Clint, you can't shoulder the responsibility for this whole situation yourself. How can I face Vicky, who's barely hanging on, by the way? And what if this brings out Nikki? You've always been able to bring Vicky back again before. Well, how many times is that going to work before I lose control of Nikki, of Tess, of myself, of everything? Dorian, I'm running on fumes here. I think I need a miracle, and I'm not sure I have one left in me. Oh, shut up. Excuse me? You heard me. Shut up and do something. Don't you think I want to do something? I'm not God here. But you're Clint Buchanan, and you can always do anything that you set your mind to. You always have, you always will, and you are not giving up. Do you understand? <laughs> he <clears throat> might be old and wasted, but... <laughs> I'd recognize your face anywhere. <laughs> no, you might not remember me, but you remember your hand on my hand, holding it down on the bed, and your other hand on my knee, so I couldn't get up. <laughs> and that smell, oh, God, disgusting breath on me. <laughs> Do you remember what you did to me? Do you? How? Don't hey. put me on hold. Don't put me on hold. T tell me where Tess is. Her, her name is Tess. I said I didn't see her. You must have. Now think. Is there a problem? Yes. I'm looking for my girlfriend. Who's she here to see? <laughs> I remember. Every second. <laughs> everything you ever did to me. And because of your tape habit, now everybody knows. It wasn't enough for you to ruin a little girl's life. You had to put it on tape for everyone to see. <laughs> Maybe you're too brain dead to understand what I'm telling you right now. Because of you, <laughs> you pervert, I'm, I'm finished. I'm done. I'm going to vanish. It's going to be like I never existed. Taking you with me, you son of a son. I feel responsible for the Manning case for Nora. She would want him behind bars. That is so weak. Come on, what's in it for you? There has to be a personal agenda. No, but there is. <laughs> I prosecuted Manning, and I believe in the verdict that I got. And I want to see it carried out.
because that's the only way the system works. Because if the system doesn't work, then people get hurt. Like whom? Don't try to analyze me. You're starting to sound like Dr. Crosby. Forgive me, I'm a cop. We ask questions and occasionally we solve problems that way. All right, well, there's only one way to solve this problem, and that's to bring Manning in, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I never said I was giving up on my family. That's the way it sounded from here. I let my guard down for one minute. One minute was all it took for you to blow everything out of proportion. Hey, you're having trouble coping. Why don't you just admit it? Oh, no, 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 I forgot. I'm talking to a Buchanan man. Buchanan men are never allowed to show weakness, are Dorian, they? I had a moment, one moment of weakness, and thank you very much for pointing that out. But I don't think I need you to talk me down from any ledge. Somebody had to do something, because you're not going to be any good to anyone feeling sorry for yourself. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I, I'm just... I'm, I'm trying to regroup. I need to find out what to do next, and I certainly don't need to be told that I was a failure as a father because I... Forget this. I'm gonna go find my daughter. No, 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 no. You're not taking credit for this. Somebody had to light a fire under you. I believe I can do that myself. It's all right. You don't have to say thank you. I don't believe I'm saying this, but you really came through for me tonight. You didn't make it easy. All right, look, I'm not trying to cause any trouble here. My girlfriend came looking for somebody she used to know a long time ago, but it is extremely important that I find her quickly. Come on, somebody must have seen a pregnant woman around here somewhere. Oh, I just helped a pregnant woman find Mr. Leeds' room. Mr. Leeds? That's it. Mr. Leeds, where? Uh, room 110. 110. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yes, no. 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 No, no, please let me finish. He no, deserves to die! He deserves to die! Excuse me. What are you up to, David? Peeping Tom? Stalking? I hmm? need to talk to you, Dorian. As you can see, I'm already occupied. Well, unoccupied. Uh, I gotta get to the hospital. What is it, Jessica? No, a message from Bo. It's Nora. Oh, well, uh, you keep me informed, all right? And if there's anything you need, Clint, anything at all, my door is always open, and I mean that. I have a feeling I know that. Yeah, good night. Good night. <sighs> what? No quip, no biting retort? I'm all out of bite tonight. I came to set my affairs in order because I may not get another chance. Dr. Eugene Snyder, what the hell happened to you after you let my father die? McBain. Hey, it's me. Rourke? Yeah, it's me. We got a problem down at the gym. It's screwing my uh, boy Vega's head. What's up? That red-headed ex of yours. It's getting tight with some lowlife. Looks like he just crawled out from under the boardwalk. New Jersey guy? Yeah, him and, uh, him and Red are talking up AC. <sighs> Sit tight, I'm on my way. Damn it, Natalie. Son of a... 